Epic Whale, alongside Arkham and Rex, have just won their fourth consecutive FNCS title championship. And for Epic Whale, this is his fifth overall. There's no doubt that he's one of the best players in the world. So let's get into some of his very simple but yet effective peace control methods that he has in his games. So this first one is an absolute staple of Epic Whale. And this is extremely simple. But after the next few examples, you'll see why I'm going through this. Because I'm going to put it all together into one very cool thing that he does in the endgame. So this is quite simply just placing cones through windows and editing windows. If you've ever watched Epic Whale, you'll see him do this repeatedly over and over again. And this is something that you have to have in your muscle memory. The way that Epic does this is that ensures he swings left before he confirms the edit so that he has the right hand peak. Very, very simple part of movement, but it's very important to ensure that you don't just 50-50 down. So to avoid taking minimal damage back from this, he does one of two things. Either crouches down to the left and moves to the left after he's taken the shot, but you can still get tagged back relatively easy from this sometimes, or just scroll wheel resets. Now, if you want to practice this, it's not rocket science. Just go into a blank creative world and do a ton of this practice, or you can do it in a Raiders Peace Control map as well. Regardless, this is muscle memory that is 100% essential to have for box fighting and to have down from different angles, so you can use it in all types of different situations. This next example is what I like to call the drop down wall. Who knows if it's called that or if there's a better name for it, but I'm just going to call it that for the basis of this video, where you're going to be dropping down and claiming walls who are actually below you. You have a very large reach onto the wall tiles from when you're above looking down, so you can use that to your advantage when you predict opponents to be moving outside of their box, grab a wall in front of them, hit it through, and place a cone in. Now, what I recommend doing is ensuring you have the muscle memory that when you drop down, you're placing the wall and you're landing on a cone, then you're editing and either coning again or just taking a shot right after, as Epic Will does many, many times. Again, super basic, but extremely useful muscle memory to have when it comes to just the basics of fighting. So why did I go through those two very basic examples, but things you should 100% have in your muscle memory? Well, it's so you can do plays like this in the end game. So you can see that Epic ends up spotting this player who's ramping up and gets on the same layer. And because he gets this wall right next to him, he doesn't decide to place the cone in. He just goes for the shot through the window. Now, he places this ramp instead of the cone because the cone may make them awkwardly phase since this guy's already in the middle of the box. Now, he just predicts the opponent to go down rather than going out. So he goes in front and combines the two mechanics we've talked about with landing on the cone, doing a window edit, placing a cone in. He also places the wall to the side and then picks up an easy elimination because of it. Now, one of the other things he does with cones is actually from a diagonal angle above a lot of players in this position will end up just replacing the wall and putting a cone in but instead what epic whale does and actually what i've been doing for the last few seasons too is just put the cone in as you're replacing the wall people do this a lot from the wall when you're directly on the same level set but not many people are actually doing this from a diagonal level when they're above super simple to practice all you need to do is do this once and then edit the wall and then also edit the cone below and it'll all break then you just have to repeat this over and over again definitely something that's worth practicing and having down in your muscle memory this next move is more common, but something Epic Whale does a very, very frequently if he gets the cone inside their box and he predicts them to move out one of the sides. So how do you know if your opponent's going to try and edit out the side or not? Well, in this, you can actually see a perfect example of while he's trying to replace the wall, the opponent has edited the cone inside, which is usually an indicator that they're going to edit out a wall to the left or to the right. In this circumstance, it's to the right and he fully boxes them up. Now, it's actually important to place the two cones first because you have a longer reach on these, then the wall in the front. Then as you're editing this, you want to make sure you get a little bit closer towards it so that you can actually reach the two walls at the back before the opponent's even figured out. And then you've got yourself an easy elimination. Now, even just the basics of the muscle memory from this is extremely useful to have. In particular, you can notice it could be material efficient just to do a single cone and then a wall as well in case the opponent leaves that way and you still have a free shot, even if you're not going to manage to fully box the opponent up, such as Epic Whale does multiple times throughout his gameplay. And this one again is relatively straightforward to practice when you're doing your free build. You can see I'm just doing it here in an open world, replacing the wall, placing a wall next to it, and just doing that exact same movement pattern over and over again to make sure I have it completely down and that it's in my muscle memory. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot. Peace.